السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إن الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل عقدة من لساني يفقه قولي آمين يا رب العالمين This is Imam Al-Hasan, assistant teacher of National Ideal Version School. My dear students of class 4, hope you all are keeping well by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I am also fine. My dear students, today I am going to teach you Islam and Moral Education, chapter 4, Akhlaq. This is your lecture, lecture number 2. So take your book and notebook out of your bag and sit down in front of your device and I hope you will enjoy the class with full attention. My dear students, today we are going to discuss about nursing to the passion, speaking the truth, keeping the promise, not to be greedy, not to waste, not to backbite. Okay, my dear students, open your book, uh, page number 45. Here we are. This is your book, Nursing to the Passion. In our house, we have parents, grandparents, brothers, and sisters. We have neighbors around our house. We have classmates in the school. We have relatives and playmates. Someone of us suffer with fever and different kinds of illness. Sometimes they, um, sometimes they and we become sick. Our body became weak and we feel helpless. We feel bad enough if we suffer in fever. We do not feel well to eat anything. When we need, then we need medical treatment. We need to call doctor, we need nursing. Distress or illness is a test which comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Patients are to be given nursing and provided with medical facilities. The great Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa used to give nursing to the patients. He called, he said, Arzul Mariz, give nursing to the Passions. Speaking the truth. To speak, uh, to speak the truth is a great virtue. A man who speaks the truth is called truthful man. In Arabic, a truthful man is called sadiq. Everybody loves and trusts a truthful man. Allah also loves him. He is dear to him. He is loved and honored by everyone in the world and in the next world he will get the heaven on the other hand telling lie is the root of all sin the man who tells a lie is called a liar in arabic he is called kadib nobody love and trust a liar everybody hates and abhorns him nobody helps him in the time of danger Allah also hates him and doesn't leave love him. In the time, in the next world, he will be in the hellfire. The great Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from his childhood was always known to everybody as a truthful man. They were called him Al Amin, and Al Amin mean absolutely faithful. He used to speak the truth uh, and order and orders and encourages others to tell the truth. He never told a lie. He never told a lie. That is why everybody used to respect and honor him. The great Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said to set the mind free and lies reigns them. Lies reigns him. He also said you must tell the truth always. Because truth leads a man to the part of virtue and virtue leads to the heaven.
keeping promise keeping promise means to act according to the given commitment to act according to the given word to keep promise and to carry out a contact given to another is called the keeping promise if we give words to any one conversations or do any contact with him work we must fulfill it then everyone will trust and love us allah will also be pleased allah says oh mumin you do fulfill promise the religion cannot prevail if they if there will be no keeping promise the great prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said a man who doesn't keep his promise he will have no religion not to be greedy tark al harz al harz mahrum the more the greedy man gets the more he wants he wants more and more it is called the greedy man greediness is a sin it causes more of our sufferings sorrows and unhappiness man is engaged in various kind of bad deeds and bad due to greed a greedy man a greedy man will never be happy and get no place no peace of mind a man who has greediness is called a greedy man nobody loves and honor a greedy man everyone hates him nobody associates and makes friendship with him at the time of his danger nobody help him he is a sinner and all and his sin pulls him to death and ruins it is said greed biggest sin and sin biggest death here is an ideal story about greediness the divine book zabur was revealed on hazrat daud ali salam he could recite the revealed book with sweet voice every saturday even sifis used to come to the show to hear it from him they were forbidden to cast fish on saturday but some greedy people didn't pray heed to this on that day they set up a trap and caught fish Allah sent punishment and uh, on them they were destroyed due to greediness there was no greediness in our great prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the great prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said biwa of greed greed destroy your former generation we will not greed we will not commit unjust not to waste the meaning of israf is harms waste unnecessary expenses to waste a thing without reason is called israf or wastes wastes is a great sin allah says in al mubazzirin kanu ikhwan al shayatin those who make wastes are the brother of shaitan so we will not be israf we will not we will not want to be a brother of shaitan not to backbite tarkul ghibat the backbiting is to speak ill to others to find out fault of others and to speak bad things behind one's back and spoils one's reputations reputation all those are ghibat in islamic terminology a man who backbites others is called backbiter backbiting is a is prohibited allah the great says wala tajassasu wala yaghtab ba'dukum ba'da do not find out faults with others
A great Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says, the backbiting, the backbiter will not enter heaven. So, we will not slander anyone. We will not hear slandering to others. We will make a beautiful life and beautiful society, inshallah. Exercise. Here are some short questions for you. Number one, who is truthful? Answer, to speak the truth is a great virtue. The man who speaks the truth is called truthful man. A truthful man is loved and honored by everyone. In this world and the next world, he will get the heaven. Number two, who is sin is the root of all sin. Telling lie is the root of all sins. The man who tells a lie is called a liar. Nobody loves and trusts a liar. Everybody hates a liar in the society. In the next world, he will be in the hellfire. Number three, what is the meaning of fulfillment of promise? The fulfillment of promise means to act according to the given commitment, to act according to the given words, to keep a promise and to carry out the contract given to anyone is called the fulfillment of promise. Allah says, O oh, Mumins, you do fulfill promise. We must fulfill it. Number four, what can be called greedy man? A man who has goodiness is called a greedy man. The, uh, the more the greedy man gets, the more he wants. The greediness is a sin. It is said, greed biggest sin and sin biggest death. Number five, what is the meaning of wastes? To waste a thing without reason is called israf or wastes. Wastes is a great sin. Allah says, those who make wastes are the brothers of Shaitan. We will not waste anything. Number six, what is the meaning of speaking bad things behind one's back? Answer, a man who backbites others is called backbiter. The backbiting is the speak ill of others to find out faults of others and to speak bad things behind one's back that spoils man's reputation. This is called gibbet. My dear students, that's all today. We will meet after some time with some exercise or on, um, online SW inshallah. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.